So around a month ago, I ordered this, the cheapest uh, free shipping graphics card, the AMD HD 7450. So uh, let's check it out. So this card was around uh, $4.50 on uh, eBay, and it was free shipping. I think this came from a uh, Dell OEM uh, computer. So as you can see, we got uh, one display port and DVI. This is pretty much the card. It's actually pretty clean. So yeah, let's take it out the box. There we go. Actually pretty neat, it's pretty clean. Got a little bit of rust in the DVI port. But yeah, overall, it's actually pretty clean. So let's install this in my main setup and I will put the specification on the screen while I do the time lapse. So as you can see, we successfully got into Windows. Let's check Tox Manager. As you can see, we have an i5 fourth generation with 12 gigs of RAM and no GPU because we don't have drivers yet. So let's get into device manager. As you can see on display adapters, we have only Microsoft display adapter. So let's get the drivers installed and see how this code performs. So yeah, after the black screen, I resorted the PC and yeah, it works. HD7400 series, GPU temp, CPU, uh, GPU usage, and let's see the specs on GPU Zen. So as you can see, HD7400 series, one gigabyte of GDDR3, okay. On the eBay listing, it said DDR3. So maybe it was a mislabel or something. Uh, so yeah, DX11 support, PCIe 16, 2.0, here yeah, are all the specs. So now we are in CDMH of 15, we're gonna do the OpenGL test and let's see how it performs against other cars in this benchmark. So as you can see, it got 14 FPS, it performs worse than the GT620, and better than the HD2500. This will give you an idea of how bad it is. And the HD2500, I have tested it with my own CPU, the i5-3470, and even the integrated 7th gen GPU from Intel beats this graphics card. It's from the i5-7400. I also have this PC for sale. So yeah, it will kind of give you an idea of how bad this GPU is. So my microphone stopped working, so I have to record this bit while editing. So yeah, as you can see we have Unigit Heaven on the basic settings. So somehow I expected much more from this card. Yes, it was not at the lowest settings, but it was in the basic preset. So we got 8 FPS and the score 209. And also the temperature got a little bit hot. Uh, more than usual, but 53 degrees is pretty good. So this is Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005. We are the maximum settings and this resolution is not true. My TV resolution is at 1280 by 768, which is weird. But yeah, we're gonna crank everything to the highest. As you can see, he can't even handle most wanted the maximum settings. So after exiting the game, I'm seeing some weird artifacts with the code, which is really weird. Let me try restarting the computer and see if the artifacts are gone. And my motherboard is showing an error.
So I just first restarted the PC and yeah, boots right up. That is actually pretty weird. But yeah, let's see if we can test some games. Then I will do separate videos with uh, other games. Oh, and artifact. Okay, I guess this card was dead. Okay, somehow when I turn the resolution back to the native TV resolution, the artifacts are gone. Yeah, so again, the microphone just died. It's a Bluetooth microphone. So yeah, we are playing Apex Legends as the lowest settings. So let's see how it works. Okay, so my Bluetooth microphone died. So I'm going to continue using the phone's microphone. So yeah. Uh, apparently we're not getting bottlenecked by the uh, CPU which is quite weird because I have 90% usage but yeah 10 FPS yep and I got knocked down yeah I don't think you guys need much more gameplay than this because I'm averaging at 12 10 FPS with almost 100% all of the time on the GPU even if you have a better CPU I don't think you get better FPS ok I'm getting revived I don't think that will matter because I have like yeah, I am playing with FPS. And I just died again. So yeah, I think that's it for uh, Apex Legend. I'm just gonna alt F4 out of this game. So next up we have Minecraft again. The artifact thing because not at native resolution, so let's change that right now. Apparently, 1080p is also my okay. Now you have weird artifacts if I bump up the resolution. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm just gonna reduce this as much as possible back to 720p. Less artifacting, but let's do native resolution. As you can see, artifact gone, which is really weird. So yeah, native resolution, native. Uh, maximum settings, details on the maximum, animation all on, quality, maximum, partially maximum, performance, I'm gonna turn this on. Uh, yep, again, resolution. So I'm going to create a new world but I'm going to let it load first before testing the GPU because my CPU is pretty bad I mean for Minecraft so it will be CPU bottleneck that's weird because I logged in single player yeah CPU will bottleneck the GPU so once the CPU utilization calms down then I will test the GPU as you can see loading in we are getting CPU bottleneck at 100% even if the GPU is going at 0% so once it comes down and loads in I'm gonna be back so I lowered the render distance a little bit and now the CPU is not getting packed at 100% and the GPU still isn't even 100% yep because we are getting bottlenecked by the CPU but uh, at maximum settings 1.21 Optifine even working I'm pretty sure you can play this at 1080p 100 FPS on Minecraft with this pretty bad code let's test it on 1080p um, I'm sure I will get artifacting yup pretty bad artifacting yeah let's not do that Yeah, I don't know what's up with that, but uh, apparently, let me try this resolution. Okay, let's not do that. 
So back to native resolution, I don't know if that's my adapter, I'm using a DVI to HDMI adapter by the way to connect to my TV. Uh, yeah, it's really playable, 100 plus FPS maybe, I can try some shaders and release a video on it, pretty interesting for a really bad code like this. I mean Minecraft, anything can play Minecraft, right? So yeah. Actually pretty good performance on maximum settings, everything with no shaders and of course with the lower render descent because of the CPU. I'm sure you probably pay a similar CPU on i3 second gen or first gen or probably go to quad or go to duo. Some of you guys will have that. But this is weird. Is that normal? Like you can see through that. Okay. So yeah. Just don't buy this card. I mean, it's pretty cheap, but I'm sure some of you guys that don't live where I live will definitely have better choices locally. So thanks for watching, guys.